Hey everyone, the numbers are in for October 2022 for Emerald Beach Resort in Panama City Beach. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Um, in this video, I'm going to go through Emerald Beach and, uh, or I'm sorry, September and October for Emerald Beach Resort since I didn't do a specific Emerald Beach video in um, September. It was a more generalized update. I'm going to talk pretty fast. There's a lot of things I want to cover and I'm almost 50 years old, so I got to get this done before... Uh, the, the clock strikes midnight, so to speak. Um, the overall market, uh, I'm going to look at this chart a little bit differently this month. Instead of focusing on the red line, which is our supply or how many units are for sale, we're really going to focus on this month's of inventory number down here. You can see there hasn't really been a big change in the market as far as how many units are for sale. The last four months, it's been pretty steady. But what's happening in the market is the demand is being sucked out of the market. There just aren't as many buyers as there were even three or four months ago. So uh, when we were a little encouraged in September by this 4.97 number, we, we'd improved from seven and six months. Instead of taking seven or six months to sell a condo, it was back to 4.97, which was an encouraging direction. Some of that was some um, pent-up demand from the summer of people who couldn't get in and see units, and now they were back to, um, they wrote a few contracts, but uh, the, since then, uh, it's slowed down again. So right now, it's taking us about six months to work through the process. A little bit of this could be elections coming up. Today is November 1st. Um, a week from tomorrow are the midterm elections. Uh, it's not unusual to see some buyers going into a little bit of a holding pattern until we get through the elections. Uh, that could be one of the things moving uh, playing into this. Certainly a lot of the um, talk about the, the, the economy, things that potentially could be happening. There are things that are happening with interest rates. All this is affecting it. So when you look at Emerald Beach Resort specifically, um, give me one second. I have the wrong chart up for you. Uh, Emerald Beach Resort. Why that's pulling, I'll set this up too. I had just done Calypso. A little behind the scenes today. See what happens when you almost turn 50? <laughs> just kidding. So back to Emerald Beach Resort. Same thing here is uh, or a little. This happened earlier in the entire Gulffront market, but you're now starting to see supply levels climb over at Emerald Beach. And Emerald Beach was really, really hot May, June, July. But look at the market after no sales in August and September. Uh, we've ballooned to eight months of inventory. Uh, there's a few reasons that could be happening, but much slower market there, um, underperforming the overall market just a little bit. But again. Um, uh, much slower. It's if you, the way we're thinking about it, it's a real dog fight. If we're being asked to sell something, it's just a dog fight to compete with buyers for, for buyers right now. Um, so marketing has to be great. Marketing has to be modern. It has to be current. We're trying to fight to get the attention uh, of buyers to make sure they're considering us. Also, units have to be in excellent condition, have good documentation on rental histories if they have that, pending rentals, all those kinds of things. Uh, we're throwing everything at it right now. We've seen this before. I've been selling real estate for 19 years. Um, it's just going to be a lot more work on the selling side to get people's attention. Just for the last two months, uh, in Emerald Beach, this includes everything that's for sale, under contract, that is sold. Uh, let me just show you a few things. We have a new listing in a one bedroom that came up at 445. No sales in a one bedroom. We did have a two bedroom that closed at 535. Uh, asking price 559, 559 on a couple of units that those are both under contract, uh, meaning that there's an existing sale price. This is a very nice unit, just reduced the asking price to 588. Um, but no other sales than that in the last um, 60 days. It'll be encouraging to see what a couple of these close at. Uh, Any time a unit will close in a condominium project, of course, that sort of sets the bar and the pricing um, for a little while on that floor plan. Again, the short version is we're dramatically different. It's been a very, very interesting last six months. Uh, we've hit the brakes. Far fewer buyers in the market than we had before. It's taking us longer to sell something. But this is back to sort of a more normalized level. So it's not anything for me that's terribly frightening. Uh, it's just that much more critical to get the marketing right um, 
as a seller when you're competing with buyers. I think it will be interesting also to see people's different people's pricing strategies moving forward, depending on what they think will be happening moving forward. Um, December, we're going to do another update again. This one's going to be a general one for the entire condo market. And I'm going to get specific to Emerald Beach Resort again, right at the beginning of January, wrap up 2022 and look ahead to what the spring market's going to look like uh, so we can make some plans there. Um, if you aren't on our email list and you'd like to be, if you're an owner and you're not getting these emails, let me know. Uh, give me a call. Shoot me a text at 850-527-0221. We're putting these on the YouTube channel too, so an easy way is just to subscribe there. Um, you can see all the market updates there if you want to see sort of the differences in the in the different buildings. Um, Emerald Beach Resort's doing a little better than Calypso, for example, who's sitting at 13 or 14 months of inventory, uh, but not quite as well as Aqua that's at three months of inventory. So it's it's interesting to see get into break into the little sub markets, but generally speaking, uh, we're competing for far fewer buyers. So again, a big focus for us on marketing. 19 years of doing this. Um, it's back to the fundamentals. So uh, there's a quick six minute run on it. Um, you can see the lights getting low. I turned 50 pretty soon. So we'll see you on the other side of that. Thanks for watching.